steps onto the bench in come Andy Webster, Bruno Agara and Callum Elliott. Very powerful looking heart side here. They've got goal threats throughout the team. Scatchel and Hartley coming from midfield. Callum Elliott, he's a class act up front. And even the big defenders for set pieces. So that's a big problem for Hibbs against an infamously mean, experienced defence. It's difficult to see where they can win this. Our referee is Stuart Dougal, who, like Mike McCurry, last year follows a League Cup final outing for the Scottish Cup semi-final tie. So last season's beaten semi-final is meet today, knowing that one of them will be going a step further than before. It is often said that a semi-final is the worst game to lose. That's true today, as the losing side will be reminded of this day for a very, very long time to come. An interested party, Gordon Strachan looking on. No doubt to which team he's supporting today. And Salvez. Looking for Scatcho, tries to get away from Caldwell. Brilliant turn, early problems for Hibbs. Jankowskis denied, it's a goal kick. But what a blistering start from the men in the room. Yeah, you've got to see Scatcho here. Lovely through his leg there. He hasn't gone down, he's kept his feet. He's played the ball into the, middle, into the correct area. That's good goalkeeping, good defending, but already Hearts putting Hibs under great pressure. Abara look to play the ball in field. Hearts Rob Glass, here's Hartley. Hartley shuffles it forward onto Jankowskis, drives the ball in. Plenty of power on the shot back. Certainly was, and uh, Rudy Scatchel following up there. Any drop at all from the goalkeeper, and it would have been in the net there, but. Lots of power, keeps it low, difficult one. Well dealt with. Well, I tumbled over. Here comes Ivan Sproul against Stephen Presley. And the corner kick awarded against the Hearts captain. The first little flash there where Sproul's maybe got a one and one. Watching closely, Thompson swings it in, was missed by Caldwell and then by Fletcher. A real opportunity for Hibbs there. Ball forward on to Chisnowskis, hearts do break quickly. Holding off three Hibbs players onto Jankowskis, good run from Elliott. Gonzalez too has gone forward, he's got plenty of pace, Gonzalez. Just not enough, I'll tell you what, he didn't give up on that. He certainly didn't, and because Whittaker had gone up the field, there was a huge gap in that uh, right full back area. But that was a half chance for Hibbs at uh, the corner kick before then. Nielsen won the header, and Webster went to stretch. Bro can't get there. Whittaker can. Excellent play from Hibbs. Sproul to Whittaker, and the drive dealt with by Craig Gordon. Certainly was. I mean, you would actually expect Craig Gordon to save this because it's a good height. Much prefer to get it down low, but it's powerful, it's on target, and it's straight at the goalkeeper. But again, that's a great move by Hibbs, that's the best effort so far in the game. And Hibbs really are coming into it now. He'll try and drive it in low, he tries to look slightly higher one. Fletcher came across there. And it really has been a good opening to the match for the men in green and white. It certainly has, I and mean, that's the third corner kick, I think. He's came in there, they've got, he's got in front of his defender there, and that's surprising there to see that happening. It's not often you see Webster getting caught like that. Well, an internationalist who played alongside Edgar Jankowskis for Lithuania, also played for the USSR. He's in charge now, despite Graham Ricks having guided them to this stage. Angelun against Gonzalez, Gonzalez does well, and draws the free kick. And a few arguments about it. Yeah, Benjamin should be holding that up a little bit better there. So Skatchel and Hartley standing over the ball. Paul Hartley, 11 goals this turn. Rudy Skatchel, 16. Skatchel breaks away. Paul Hartley. Excellent free kick from Paul Hartley. And confidently dealt with by Zibi Malkowski. I'm sure that was going in the corner there. It's bending away from us, right up in that top corner there, maybe on the underside of the crossbar. Great piece of play, great goalkeeper from Makowski. Former Hibs player Paul Hartley will play a little smile on his face. He does as he faces the Hibs fans. Swings in the corner. Presley beaten. 
Aguara watches it come down. He can go anywhere. Chesnauskas has a decent shot on him sometimes. Huh. Well, a few empty seats in the Hibs end. Some of those sections were family sections that Hibs were unable to sell. But the green and white still come through in number. It's sad to see there is empty seats. Too many people would like to have filled them. Caldwell forward, Thompson. Webster has to come out wide, so it could be a chance for Sproul. And what a chance it was for Ivan Sproul. He was in front of the goal there, but I think if he'd have let that ball through his legs there, I think Ben Jolum was waiting for it. Nice ball back, let it through his legs. Smith plays it forward. Benjamin loses out. Skatchel on to Hartley. Hearts are coming forward. Jankowskis wide one side. Elliot the other. Jankowskis driving in. Jankowskis on to Hartley. Hearts take the lead. And the joy on Paul Hartley's face says it all. It's his first Scottish Cup goal for Hearts in his tenth appearance, and that's what it means to the Hearts team. What a fantastic run, not the first time we've seen that, but look at this. Benjolin has lost the ball again, he's played into him, he has to be strong, he has to be big, be big and hold it up, and then it is four against three there. And look at that run by Hartley, gets into a great area, great awareness outside of his right foot, and that's a great goal, there's nothing the goalkeeper can do about it, and that is a quality goal from a quality player, it has to be said, but the Hearts players were quick enough to get up and support them. And that's fantastic player. He'll be delighted. Well, what Hibs could do with Derek Rardin, only been booked a handful of times this season, but two of them in the Scottish Cup, and that's why he's in the stand. Murphy drives it forward, Craig Gordon's come a long way, he's not got it, Fletcher tries to play the ball back, on Gonzalez and Gordon make life very interesting at the back for Hearts, and that's very un Craig Gordon -like. That is very unusual again, that, that's a mistake there. Craig Gordon's made the wrong decision, he's gone out, he's tried to punch, there is no need to go that far out. Murphy holding off Chesnowskis. Chesnowskis going in, Murphy does well. Englishman trying to drive forward, Whitaker wants the ball. Ball onto the left foot. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and Whitaker's going to pop one of these in if Hearts keep giving him space. If he's going to pop one in, he's got to do one thing. He's got to get it on target. And, uh, you know, it's a decent hit. He's got lots of power behind it, but you're not going to score if it's not on target. And Craig Gordon has to be worked. A minute of stoppage time. We played at Hamden. The second semi-final. Parts of a man down with a head knock. It's the captain, Stephen Presley. Stephen Presley required stitches and went off against Falkirk last Saturday. And Benjamin too holding his head. And worrying moments for Valdas Ivanouskas. Yeah, the defence has looked uh, shaky maybe at the start, but uh, it didn't seem a great deal in this at the start. But we'll see a lot of knock aheads there, side on side. That's painful. Well, very gingerly coming off, but deep into stoppage time. Dying seconds of the half, and referee shoot the goal, decides that that is it. Well, him started brightly, they played particularly well. Stephen Whitaker with a couple of efforts, Gary Caldwell with a header wide, but Paul Hartley, the man who scored. After 27 minutes, a lovely sweeping move after Hibs were on the attack, and that's the difference at half-time at Hamden. It's Hibs nil, Hearts one. Well, Paul Hartley scored the goal, he's now got the added responsibility of being Hearts captain. His Hearts had forced change at half-time. Nicholas Fisas comes on for Stephen Presley, injured at the end of the first half. Stuart Dougal gets us underway for the second half. These clubs reached the semi finals in 1986, 93, 95, and again in 2005. So the odds were they were going to be drawn together at some stage in 2006. Saw the draw putting the Edinburgh clubs together. Well, he changes his managers quite often. Vladimir Romanov, Roman Romanov, his son, will be vindicated, they feel, if they win this match this afternoon. 
Just trying to move forward quickly, Jankowskis looking for Skatchel again, Skatchel will get a second bite at it. Rudy Skatchel being crowded out and eventually draws the free kick. And good play from Rudy Skatchel, he's trying to stay on his feet as long as he could. Yeah, no complaints there, he was quite strong. I don't think there was any deliberate free kick there, but they, they were holding on. It's a dangerous possession. Paul Hartley came close in the first half. Goes again, that took a deflection! And Zuri Markowski comes across and makes the save, an important one too. Loves that top corner there, you're right, it got a deflection, and again it was going straight into the corner there. And that's a great save there. A little argument, it's come off his shoulder area, but I don't think that was a penalty kick. So Hearts with the opening corner of this second half. Hartley wants movement, drives the ball in. Stooping there was Chris Hogg, Benjaloon. Won't get away from Chisnowskis. Well, Tony Mowbray must wonder what it would have been with Scott Brown and Derek Grandin, Chris Killen. Benjaloon, great run by Thompson. Scatchel coming back too. Ball came in. And Kevin Thompson. I think he'd taken a touch there. He might have forced something out of Rudy Scatchel. I think he was running out of legs though. I mean, he's got up there as much as he can, but you know, he's getting a bit tired when he gets there. And he's leaning back and he's stretching when he gets in. But it's really disappointing for him. There was, there was no great effort to get into the box there from the two centre forwards when he, once he got wide. Scatchel to Fisas. Fisas. A wrestle to the ground by Kevin Thompson. And that was good patient play from Fisas. I think Hibs have begun to give away a few free kicks in dangerous areas now. And it's it looks like tiredness. You know, they do look as if they worked really hard at the start of the game and uh, they can't give too many opportunities away like this because Paul Hartley, his delivery is usually fantastic. So Paul Hartley. You to see he's got Scatchel, who nobody has picked up. And the referee's probably blocking the ball to Rudy Scatchel. Hartley's going for goal! Malkowski expected the cross, and Paul Hartley spotted the gap. And Paul Hartley fires Hartz into a 2 0 lead. Paul Hartley's been looking for that near post all afternoon, and he's finally found it there. The goalkeeper couldn't get across, he's taken one step away. And that was a great goal from that angle. It was a dangerous angle. Now you mentioned Paul Hartley has got the great delivery. Well, you don't get much better than that. What a fantastic goal to score in the semi-final. Whipped in the hips defence. Look at the goalkeeper. He was too far to one side. The ball over the line before he connects with it. And Paul Hartley can turn and celebrate precisely what he does. It's a tall order now for Hibs. Hearts knocking on the door of the Scottish Cup final. It's Hibs nil, Hearts two. At the moment, his are heading out of the Scottish Cup. He conceded two goals in the Scottish Cup last season, both came in the semi-final against Dundee United. They've conceded two this afternoon against Hearts. Whitaker can hit straight back. Whitaker plays it in. This is Nauskas with a clearance. Comes Gary Caldwell. That was unnecessary from Rudy Scatchel, very heavy on the Scottish internationalist. And this thing's got a little towsy, Callum Elliott is going to be in trouble for the referee. The referee's no option there, he has to book him. Um, the free kick was going to be taken quickly, and he, went, um, he got in the way, he kicked the ball away. A yellow card, Hearts fourth of the Scottish Cup campaign. Hearts have no players in danger of missing either a replay or the final. Two thirds of the match have gone. Thompson plays the ball in the back end. There's a chance for Sproul. He's had such a wonderful Scottish Cup campaign, Ivan Sproul. He's having such a miserable semi final. He certainly has. It's come on here and he's tried to play the ball back across. And in many ways, that's the right ball to play because there wasn't much space. But another chance. Whitaker goes in. Great effort. Gordon plays it away. Sproul can't get in there again. Well, Whittaker has a more shots on goal in this match than I've ever seen him have in a game. And that time, as Pat mentioned in the first half, he's got to get them on target. He did precisely that. I'm sure Tony Mowbray said that to him, but he's played in that right 
midfield position. I think he'll play there again. I think he's looked very, very good. He's got forward and he's been dangerous. Well, Scatcho with a free kick, Elliot then blocked here. And that's why he was yellow carded. Getting to look at the bench now. I mean, this man doesn't need to make any changes at all. He's quite cruising at the moment, but uh, Tony Mowbray, I think he may have to consider certainly changing personnel, if not the system. Driving the ball wide, drawing the challenge. And Hearts can really put the brakes on this game now, Pat. They certainly can, and I mean, you look at it, uh, Tony Mowbray's had to make a lot of changes and a lot of decisions, and there's a lot of players missing, but there's quality players, it's these top players that are missing. And I think it showed so far this afternoon. Rudy Scatcho with a cross. Coming in there was Michaelunas, McMurphy with a header, now Ivan Sproul. And Michaelunas robs him, and then tumbles on the ball, and then goes down. And then he claimed he was stood on, and some of the Hearts players don't like that. Michaelunas says he was caught, and Ivan Sproul brings a miserable afternoon for himself to an end. The red card, he kicked out of the substitute, Tobias Michaelunas. And Ivan Sproul, who graced this competition with three goals, is disgraced with a red card. Certainly did. I mean, he's, it was a great tackle there, but he's got back there, he's trying to go over. He feels there's been a dive there, and because of that, he's doing the player. There is no doubt the player has made absolutely the most of it, but you do not stand in players. So, uh, the red card, no choice at all for the referee, but uh, there was a little bit of rolling about that was unnecessary, I think. Hartley swings the ball in, Malkowski comes to take. Fires it forward, Whitaker, good control. Chesnowskis now on the left, was there. Driven forward, Jankowskis is going in on the goalkeeper, Malkowski wanted all day, Jankowskis wraps it up the hearts! A horror show by the Hibs goalkeeper, Jankowskis closed them down. And Edgar Jankowskis ensures that Hearts go through to the Scottish Cup on the 13th of May. It's Hibs nil, Hearts 3. Oh, it's painful. You know, on a day, we want it to be a big day. The goalkeeper had a good first half, but this is a dreadful Let's error. He waited far too long there. Jankowskis. Jankowski could actually have gone down and had him sent off, but uh, he held the ball up. I thought he held it quite a long time. He was getting a narrow angle there. He passed it calmly into the net, and it has to be made over the the period of the game, particularly the second half. Hearts have deserved this, and uh, it's far too much for the Hibs fan to take. No, and him too. He might even last the final. Paul Hartley is being happy to settle in a more defensive midfield role now as Hearts protect their three-goal lead. Thompson tries to play it out wide. Nicolunas just swung the ball away. And Hearts are just playing out the time. Ball over the top, Pospisil goes in there, he's dragged back, penalty kick, and Gary Smith's in trouble. Gary Smith will see the colour of the card being red, he pulled back tonight, a goal-scoring opportunity. We didn't think it could get any worse for Hibbs, quite simply, it has. The script's not going the way we wanted it to go there. You do not want players sent off, and you know, there's a lot of pride to play for here as well. But there's no doubt, Hospital had the pace, it was absolutely clean as a whistle, there's no argument at all. Paul Hartley, a chance of a hat-trick in the Scottish Cup semi-final, steps up and scores! The eighth player in Hearts history to score a hat-trick against the local rivals. The Three Fingers celebrates the three-goal score by Paul Hartley. Captain for the second half celebrates, it's Hartley's hat-trick and Hibs trail by four goals to nil. I have to say Paul Hartley deserves it, he's been, uh, he's been smashing this afternoon. Took it easy at the start and uh, bottom right corner, goalkeeper, bottom right of the goalkeeper's side and uh, he loves that corner, he's been aiming for it all afternoon. It's maybe only a surprise that he's only got three there. What an afternoon 
be interesting to see what he has to say. He's always interesting to listen to. And Valdez Ivanovskis is delighted with the way it's gone. There are barely a couple of thousand Hibs fans left inside Hamden Park as the ball gets played forward. Fisas knocks it away. Whitaker trying to go in there. And referee Stuart Nuno says that is it. It's Hibs' heaviest semi final defeat in 26 years. It's Hearts' victory. They're now going to the Scottish Cup final for the 13th time. They've six wins and six losses. They will face Gretna in the Scottish Cup final on the 13th of May. Hamden Park is maroon and white for the afternoon. It finished at Hamden. Hibs nil. Hearts with Patrick Hero Hartley with three. Hearts four. A stunning tenant Scottish Cup semi final then. It ends with Hearts 4 0 winners and the almost surreal side of one end of Hamden celebrating gleefully a crushing win over their oldest rivals and the other end virtually deserted as devastated Hibs fans head for the exits down to nine men and a 4-0 defeat Hibs more than a century long wait for a Scottish Cup win will continue for at least another year it's Hearts Day and they will now go forward to meet Gretna up in the Tenant Scottish Cup final on the 13th of May here at Hampton and today for celebrations in Maroon Let's hear then some of the reaction from that victorious Hearts squad They're with Kerry Dinnison. How does it feel to, to be in the, the, the Scottish Cup final? Something you dream of as a little boy, you know, you, you see these uh, great occasions at Hamden and it's, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can go and, and uh, win the Cup. It's not going to be easy, but I think, uh, you know, we've given ourselves a right chance now by getting in the final, so hopefully we can take it from there. It's only a second division team, it's only Gretna. Yeah, that's what people will say. <laughs> I think we'll take a different view from them. Keep saying it, I know that, but we had six under twenty one started the game today, and it's sometimes in, in semi finals, you know, it's games like this that'll give them the experience that hopefully when we come back, we, we will be better. And um, somewhere down the line, the experience and and the quality that uh, we've got in the football club, a lot of that quality was sitting in the stands today, but um, the quality we've got in the football club will bring this club back to semi finals and finals in the future. I'm sure of that. Well, I know that we usually do the commentary, but I'm going to get you to, to do the honours at the moment. If you just look at that monitor there, and I'm um, just. Talk us through your goals, as they say. Yeah, Rudy's played a ball. And, um, I've got plenty of space and just Edgar's made a run on the left-hand side and I've just followed my pass up. And a great delivery in and just took a nick and you know, thankfully for me it's, it's went in. Beautiful and finish, great, I have to say. Yeah, it's a good finish. But, um, you see, I'm delighted with that. No. That's not too shabby, is it? You know, I've just I've seen the goalkeeper moving over and I've just sort of, as you would say, gave him the eyes. <laughs> and would you please that there was only one man in the Hibs wall there? Probably we would put one man out uh, in our wall too if it was just one man taking a free kick and I've just seen him moving over a bit and you know, thankfully it's a run. Great penalty as well. Could, could you believe it? A hat trick in the cup semi final no, against Hibs? It's just not sunk in yet. Um, I'm sure it'll take a, a few more days to, to sink in and you know I'm the penalty taker so you know, I think that's 13 out of 13 for me at the club so you know, it's always special to, to, to score against your rivals but to score a hat trick is, is even more pleasing. It doesn't get much better than this Hearts beating Hibs 4-0 in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. It's a big result. It's a big result. And it's enjoy we enjoy this game, this victory. But when is this next game? We're not a team that sits everybody behind the ball and tries to soak it up. We're a team that tries to go and win football games. And when you do that and you, you, you play an open type of game, you tend to lose goals. If you Because you go one down, you go chasing an equaliser, you lose two. You know you can then decide if you want to stick everybody behind the ball and settle for that like a lot of teams would do. But it's not our nature. And, and if we lose four goals, then, then so be it. It's, uh, you might as well lose four as one in the semi-final because there's only one team goes through. How are Stephen Presley and, uh, and, and Gonsalves? They, they, they took bad head knocks. Yeah, I think both uh, suffered concussion. I think we ended up seven different players playing in the back four. But uh, these things happen in football, especially derby matches. You know, it's a lot, of, a lot of kind of hectic and, and tackles going and such like. But I think you know the boys, the boys will be okay. And big game for us.